Today was Denver's third 90 degree day of the year already, but it was even hotter on the western slope near Grand Junction. It hit 100 degrees for the first time there this year. The National Weather Service issued a heat advisory. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen explains why these heat advisories are actually rare in Colorado. The National Weather Service has issued this heat advisory that lasts through Sunday night, and it includes the Grand Valley on the western slope. It's only the eighth heat advisory on record in the state of Colorado. Heat advisories are so unusual in our state, not because it doesn't get hot enough during the day, but because of how fast the temperatures cool after the sun goes down. Even on our hottest days, it usually drops below 70 degrees by morning. That makes it difficult to hit the traditional criteria for a heat advisory, which has a minimum temperature of 75 degrees. But that doesn't mean heat in Colorado isn't dangerous. So the National Weather Service in Grand Junction believes it's time to bend the rules. Within the last few years, we've really taken a look at the thresholds and um, tried to tailor it to this climate and how uh, more arid areas are impacted by heat. Meteorologist Aaron Walter says they're using a new guide to help them warn the public about extreme heat. She says the new heat risk product factors in things like how much warmer it is than average, how long the heat will last, and how much area and population the heat covers. She says meteorologists will now be using this product to make judgment calls on when to issue heat advisories and excessive heat warnings in Colorado. It's a continuous discussion with your team members that are on shift. It's not just like a one person's decision. It's a team effort. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.